crazy week for so many different reasons. Uh, but you know me, if you, uh, what I always say, if you uh, still breathing, you are still in the fight. And I hold to that uh, no matter what it's been for you, no matter how crazy this week has been uh, individually, collectively, we're still breathing, so we're still in the fight. Uh, actually, despite all the craziness, it's been a good week for me. Um, at any time, uh, you know, I get to do something special with my babies. It's always good, you know, and this is also, um, you know, days leading up to my birthday, which is Tuesday, uh, the 25th, I'll be... 56 years old, man. Uh, I remember believing 56 was like ancient. Um, if my baby brother was here, he would say it is. He's about to turn 50, so we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, uh, this is normally the time of day I normally do all my motivational stuff. My uh, Today's Thursday, so my thankful Thursday. I'm going to do that a little later, but I definitely, uh, because of the attention that it's got, because of the attention I gave it, I need to bring some clarity to uh, this whole Carly Russell thing. First of all, I need to acknowledge uh, the truth um, because I was one that said, let's wait until the evidence comes out because we're too easy to believe the worst. Not that you can't see some of the signs, but you want to give it every benefit of the doubt. Now, before I actually get into this, I'm on my way to the gym, so I'm probably going to have to do this in two parts. Um, part one, on the way to the gym. Part two, on the way from the gym. Uh, but Before I do this, I want to say there's a, there are a lot of people out there now saying this is why I don't share the pictures of the missing uh, people, uh, this uh, missing women or whatever. Uh, and I get it. Nobody likes to feel played. Nobody likes to feel like they were part of somebody's uh, game of deception. Uh, and I definitely get that. Uh, here's the problem with that. Long before Carly Russell decided to do what she did and, um, you know, create the turmoil that was created and, you know, and everything and hurt a lot of people that actually cared about her and deceive a lot of people that actually mobilized uh, on her behalf. We've had over 70,000, 75,000. I've been talking about this since it was 64,000. So 75,000 missing black women. When I say missing, and the numbers may even be higher now, depending on what study you look at and how it's being actually recorded, it could be literally higher than that. But, uh, we know that black women make up 7% of this, the population in this country, and yet close to 40% of all disappearances, male or female, are black women. Uh, that's more than statistically significant. That's more than a coincidence or happenstance. That is systemically an issue and a problem that tells me that black women are being targeted, that black women are highly vulnerable, that black women are the most at risk, and we can't sit up and allow a situation like this to diffuse the focus that needs to be on that situation. I'm going to say that first because the idea of a lot of people is going to be, that's why, that's why, that's why, that's why. And I get it. Again, nobody wants to be misled, deceived, uh, and, you know, played. Nobody likes that. Um, 
you know, and we, we definitely, you know, you already see the Jesse uh, Smollett um, memes and, 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 and statements floating around. And what blows my mind is how someone in 2023 thinks they can actually get away with that. Um, that your know, search history can't be found. That there aren't cameras every freaking where. That on a highway where multiple cars are passing that there aren't going to be people say, I didn't see anything. This is what I did see. And that it wasn't going to come out. And, and um, you know, my thing is there are going to be some people with me being in the mental health or more, more, more broadly human behavior, uh, industry, area, science, whatever you want to call it, sir, um, with me being uh, a part of that, and for years, you know, I've heard, you know, the, the uh, thought or idea that it's um, a mental health issue, a psychotic break, or something of that nature, way too much planning you know for it to be a break big enough to where you can sit up and say she didn't know what she was doing uh, doesn't mean that it isn't a mental health issue it just means that it's not an excusable behavior from what I can see there isn't anything in it you can say okay we gotta let her slide on this when she was out there and while that's probably going to be the position her parents take because her pa the parents are still her parents. They're going to need to defend their baby. So they're going to want to believe whatever they need to believe to make it be okay that she did it. And what they need to be careful of is in their love for her and in their need to protect her that they don't become guilty of an accessory after the fact where they're hiding stuff from the police that bring clap that brings clarity to uh, this case and because they can actually be charged as an accessory after the fact if they do. Um, the boyfriend, from what I understand, who was a staunch defender and went in on his Instagram account uh, days ago to defend her has now deleted that defense post and deleted all the pictures of her, which is definitely understandable from what it seems like the cause of her disappearance is. Uh, man, you know. It is unfortunate to say the least um, that this has happened stuff happens people meet people uh, people want to be with people um, and they'll do whatever they can or whatever they feel they need to to make it happen uh, whether it's immaturity where there was some influence of mental health uh, or mental illness excuse me um, whatever you know it may be um, uh, there has to be accountability and someone brought up the point um, in the previous video that I did that if she did fake it then she needs to be held accountable and she does here's why I don't like throwing black people to the wolves uh, because they go out of their way to protect theirs. Um, so I believe there has to be accountability because of the damage that's done. People will be a lot more skeptical, skeptical of the next black woman that comes up missing solely because of this. We are trained to be skeptical of one another from the beginning. 
So when you sit up and you look at this, you know that there's going to be an ongoing uh, slot. The next few black women that are high prof pro profile missing black women will be uh, they'll they'll be accused of pulling a uh, Carly Russell, and we'll go through all that, and it'll be the jokes about this, and and then it's and another thing that I've seen, which I think is really sad and stupid, are the people who are ridiculing the people who initially got on board with this. You know, these geniuses that just knew from day one that she wasn't really missing. Now, you may have figured it out after a while of stuff starting to materialize. The people who sit up and say, hey, man, I'm finna share this because something's not right and did so. Um, I hope you continue to do that. Uh, but there are people ridiculing and talking down people and, you know, people have to deal with the I told you so's and everything like that. And it's already so easy in today's society to sit up and um, not get involved, not uh, participate, pretend that you don't see it, look the other way and go about your business. But I, you know, I always ask myself, is this what I would want people to do if it was my daughter, my sister, my granddaughter. Uh, is this the level of humanity that I want my children, their children and their children and their children to come up in? Or do we want to create an environment where humans are behaving like humans? Um, and so there is so much narcissism in this from Carly to the response to the people who tried to do the right thing uh, and how they are being handled and talked about. Uh, but I'm going to um, finish this on the other side of my workout. And so I'll be back um, with the second half of this. Uh, but we so uh don't don't tune out because after this break, short break, uh, I'll be back with the second half. So we're not done yet. On that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable, uh, unbelievable day. the whole Carly Russell thing unfortunately is probably not going to be the last thing because from what I understand they are still investigating and they're still uncovering things um, in, so as I said in the first half of this um, I'm acknowledging that I was off with my my move is always going to be first to move in the defense of the black woman then if I find uh, that she has acted in a way that's out of line, then we'll address it. And I believe that consequence has to be a part of action. It has to be a part of code. It has to be a part of social uh, accountability. Accountability, that's a part of being pro-social is you understand what's acceptable and what's not acceptable and you act accordingly. Uh, I'm not removing our ignoring the possibility of some form of uh, mental or emotional disruption, but I'm saying that based on the level of planning and research she did prior to it, it could not have been a psychotic break. Uh, those don't give you a hint to go do something and then take place. Uh, so it seems like whatever it was, she wanted to get somewhere. Um, there's a lot of speculation uh, I haven't seen anything that says specifically, but there's a lot of speculation. Again, 
I don't get to go out on a limb and do the, yeah, it was this, it was that, because my credibility is important to me. Uh, I'm not perfect, so I'm going to make mistakes. I want those mistakes to be legitimate mistakes and not just me jumping on the bandwagon because that's what everybody thinks. Uh, but that is the speculation that there's a guy. Uh, especially with the boyfriend's response to the latest information of deleting his defense of her and deleting all of her pictures. Um, so that speaks volumes. People are putting two to two together. Uh, I'm going to wait on the evidence so that I don't have to print a, a, or publish a, a lot more retractions on statements. Uh, again, so now what I want to do uh, before I forget, if you believe in the work we do at the Odyssey Project, one of which is deal with situations like this in helping to protect our children, protect our women, protect young black males as well. One of our biggest programs is Black Men Lead, where we provide wraparound services for mental health black men and women and children. We provide uh, wraparound services for a number of different elements and aspects of living domestic violence, intimate partner violence, intimate partner homicide, uh, judicial justice system advocacy, and so much more. Um, we have a research center with 30 years in the game, and uh, I alone in that research center, well, not I alone, there are other people, but just in hours I've clocked, di directly dedicated to the black struggle, we're talking close to 80,000 hours. Imagine the time that's spent doing that. Do the math. It tells you how much of my life I've given to this. It's a full-time job on top of full running businesses full-time. And every and the research I've had to do every, for everything else that's going on. But researching is my thing. It's literally my passion. Understanding why is what drives me. So uh, it's not like it, it was a labor of love, but it still takes resources. So that's that. Now, back to this thing. Uh, what do we know? We know that she researched how to take money from a cash register and not get caught. She researched uh, the movie Taken. Uh, she researched a couple of other things that said she was looking for ways to get, disappear. She bought snacks right before. Uh, she called 911, uh, made sure she was on the phone with her cousin. Uh, Here's the thing that I haven't heard anybody else address, but it was obvious to me the moment that it started to look a little fishy is for her to have disappeared, someone else was involved. And I think they need to be held accountable too because uh, for them to pick her up, leave her car there and have all of America basically looking for her, they had to know something was wrong and for two days, they didn't do anything. Um, and I think, who knows, maybe after the heat got turned up, they're the one that dropped her off in her neighborhood and say, hey, look, man, I'm not be a part of this. You're going to carry your ass home. Um, and again, what drives a person to that point could be a number of different things, but you have a responsibility, again, to carry yourself in a certain manner and to do things that we're responsible for our choices and outside of a psychotic break where she's literally outside the scope or realm of reality, there has to be some consequences. But I'm going to double down on what I said uh, initially, and that is that we cannot withdraw from our care, our concern, our focus on this epidemic of missing black women. Carly Russell doing what it seems obvious she's done now does not change the fact that black women are disproportionately targeted for abduction, that based on our representation, the, our black women's representation in uh, the demographic makeup of this country, 7% roughly. The fact that we're almost at 40% of those abducted and missing every year, there's a problem. And it speaks to 
a number of different issues that we aren't either willing or capable of addressing in a efficacious manner. We need to develop the capacity to provide a level of safety and security for the black woman. One of the biggest concerns with black women, if you poll black women, they don't feel safe. What is even more important is they don't feel safe in the presence of black men. And the problem is now is black men who aren't 100% committed to being protectors of black women are going to use this as a reason why. Anytime that you're not committed to something you're being challenged to do, you're looking for ways to get around it. Here's the bottom line. There's no situation where it's 100% application. There's always exceptions. There are going to be always people who fall by the wayside. There are going to always be people who step outside the bounds of what's expected. And unfortunately, that's life. You can't use those exceptions as an excuse not to carry out what we need to be doing. And until we create that type of security within the black community, where it's off limits to harm a black woman or black children. And I mean, we need to defend our young black brothers too. Uh, they are the most targeted, but we need to make sure that our women feel safe because they function in their greatest fear of spiritual uh, influence and their discernment and the things that they are naturally designed to do when they are safe, when they feel safe, when they can function without being on edge. And let me explain something to you. Can you possibly imagine? See, I deal with this on two on two levels. I deal this with this with black women, but I also deal with this with black children. And both are in situations in which those who should be protecting them are oftentimes the ones they fear the most because they are the ones who are harming them the most. So in essence, we've got to confront this on a number of different levels. We've got to be real with ourselves. We are going to have to sit up and admit that we have some problems. Adverse childhood experiences, I've talked about it. I've done workshops on it. Um, and it is something that we are really struggling with. Um, and I'm going to do another workshop either at the end of this month, which is come, was pretty much here, or uh, the beginning of next month, we're doing another workshop here in Houston. I'm also uh, a speaker at a conference, uh, the Ironman conference here in Houston on Saturday. Uh, I'll be speaking on the importance of generational wealth and I'll be speaking to a group of men and I'll be doing a lot more of this um, in, in in the next couple of years so if you want to book me for anything that you've seen that you believe I can speak from an educated position on um, the information to book me will be in the description box of the video um but I am going to implore you as emphatically as I possibly can to not allow what this young lady has done to be an excuse for us not to be engaged in being more vigilant in covering our women. Uh, that's my challenge. We've got to be more vigilant. We've got to be more engaged. Uh, there's nothing easy about it. Um, there's so much we've got going on from uh, the need to build wealth, to close the wealth gap, um, to uh, properly and holistically educating our children uh, dealing with generational trauma and it goes on and on so I say that as I close 
we have work to do. And on that note, okay, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I got some things I need to do. I got to run in this store, which is always interesting, um, to grab something real quick. Then I'm going to go do what I got to do for the day. But um, that's that. And again, if you believe in the work we do, look in the description box uh, and look at the ways that you can donate and donate. On that note, I am out of here. You guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day. Take care. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They said I should give it up like yeah, that just ain't good enough. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time you know outside of the businesses that i run like myriad business solutions the visionetics institute odyssey media group i also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in houston dallas and other areas uh, i'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the odyssey project is doing in the inner cities uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.